my community, and I served as a board member for my school's Pakistani Students Association. We are... We are happy to host this event to welcome the new Pakistani ambassador to the United States, His Excellency Dr. Asif Majid, into our community. He is a well-accomplished individual, and we will all learn more about his accomplishments through the night's program. We have a great lineup of speakers tonight, and the first of those is Dr. Zulfikar Ghazmi. Dr. Ghazmi. Dr. Ghazmi is the executive director of the Common Grounds. He is largely known as an Islamic scholar, social scientist, and dialogue expert. Dr. Ghazmi spoke in more than 200 peace conferences around the world. He received several awards for his service to peace. Dr. Ghazmi was nominated for the Benjamin Franklin Award for his public diplomacy and received the GUK Peace Award and Best Parents Award in 2017, signed by Bill Clinton. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Grosme to the stage. In the name of Allah, the most merciful and beneficent. In Allah, wa malaikatu shallu na ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladina aminu shallu ala wa sallimu taslima. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to say a few words about this evening. It's an evening of love. It's an evening to welcome someone from a, na from a nation, from a country, who is the ambassador of Pakistan, His Excellency Asad Majid Khan. It's very difficult to say something about a person who has a lot of accomplishments in his life. Dear brothers and sisters, we have to be thankful to one person who has arranged this reception and all we are here to greet and meet a great ambassador of Pakistan, Asad Majid Khan. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, in our life we see very few people making right and wise decisions at difficult times and play a role of firefighter for our communities and nation. But the Sajid Tarot played his role at most critical time. He stood up for the right of Muslims at the right time to support President Donald Trump. Indeed, it was a great standpoint by him because most of, most of the people but never thinking what would be happening in future. He was the one who was thinking that we need to break a balance in, in politics in America. Because he was thinking that Muslims should stand at this moment while someone is saying that he wants to bring back America to the values and true values of America. And definitely, President Trump was saying this thing, you know. Brothers and sisters, Pakistan needs to reset relationship with America. America and Pakistan never have a, an ideal relationship, but it was smooth, it was friendly, and cooperative relationship. Brother Tara was speaking that how we could have a balance in our society, and he was bringing those people to introduce with that movement which was about to start at the time to bring back America. My salute, my love, and my respect to great American leader 
and Republican leader Brother Tharo. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, he was having the cooperation and help of those people who they are great friends of America. In this gathering, I would like to recognize one person, and he is a great media man, great media leader, and he is the chairman of the Washington Times, Mr. Tom McDevitt. <laughs> Mr. Tom McDevitt, if you see that the Washington Times was urging and asking to the people that they should focus on those issues which Pakistan is focusing right now and Pakistan is facing right now. He was bringing America and Pakistan together at one track and that was the track of friendship, friendship and peace and prosperity of both nations. Dear brothers and sisters, it's really an honor for me and for all of us to meet a gentleman who is the ambassador of Pakistan. He has played very well before. I remember when he was DCM. He was working so hard and he was, you know, bridging to the, for the communities even, you know. He was asking everyone had to be unified for one purpose, how they could serve Pakistan. And I have a witness, you know, I'm a witness to his work. Thank you very much, His Excellency, Mr. Asit Majid. You know, it was, it was a great job which you did. Excellency Dr. Khan, you have a great track record as a professional diplomat of Pakistan. With your diplomacy and our public diplomacy, we can pave a great way to reset Pakistan relationship. <clears throat> Excellency, you are not new man for us. We respect your previous work, and I'm one of your, you know, uh, one of the person who has witnessed your work. Thank you very much for your great work again. Without help of the community, our diplomacy cannot succeed in America. I remember once a great man, and who was a great helper to Pakistan, and everyone knows about him, you know, Senator Hank Brown, and who was the author of Brown, Brown Amendment. Once he said, and I was the host of that event at the time in 1995, when the Brown Amendment was adopted and passed. And he said, diplomacy from Pakistan side or from any other country can win the hearts of Congress, Congress people if they are getting along help of their communities. So this is my wish that definitely your office is open for the Pakistani American community. But I would like to ask you, open your heart and open your, you know, your will to help Pakistani American community and to seeking your help, their help, definitely you will be making a great difference in American uh, you know, communities as well. Lastly, I would like to say that Pakistan and U.S. relationship can be improved if we are helping our diplomats with our will and skill. Brother Tarar has given so much to the communities. He's such a leader that he was giving his, uh, you know, advisory to act at that time to Pakistani American community, which was very difficult time. Thank you very much, Brother Taro. And I would like to say about everyone, support him because he is he he's, he's a great person and he is seeking your help. May Allah bless you, may Allah bless Pakistan, and may Allah bless America as well. Thank you very much.